Hey loves, Jay here with your March 15th to April 15th tarot predictions for Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, you're welcome. Cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. Alrighty. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into the collective insight, see what's coming up for you during this time frame, Scorpio. I'm hearing some of you are addicted to something or addicted to someone. It feels more like a person. And spirit is asking you, someone needs to hear this message. Um, learn how to navigate through this. Okay, so whatever it is that you're experiencing, learn how to navigate through it. So whether that is feelings, emotions, um, learning issues that you may be having with someone or in a job or something, learn how to navigate through it. Okay, so that also means not to walk away, just walk away from it. All right, let's get all your cards out here, Scorpio, and then we will clarify each of these for you. I have the Seven of Wands. I have the Hangman. The Lovers is coming out. We have the Queen of Discs. The Temperance is coming out. The Queen of Swords. As well as the Eight of Wands. Alright. So let's we'll, we'll get into that. Clarify each of these for you. There's something that you need to hear, Scorpio. And um, maybe you may find the clarity that you need in this reading. Or um, there's something that you specifically need to hear when you're possibly on your own whether that is in meditation or prayer there's a message that's coming in for you and it's it's specific to you okay so make sure that you're paying attention to that and doing your work so that you can tune in and tap into whatever this message is here so we have the seven of wands coming up in your overall energy position so um i feel I, I feel a little celebration on, on one end and then there could be some defensiveness or some character character deformations or something that could be coming up. I'm going to clarify this to see what this is all about, okay? Because I'm, I'm, I'm initially feeling a little bit of celebration that could be coming up for you overall. Um, but taking a stand you're taking a stand on something let's see what's coming up why is the seven of wands here in the overall position we have the three of wands coming out for you so we have the ace of wands as well so oh under that i didn't even see that six of pentacles is also coming out for you here all right, so let's let's clarify the seven of wands here. Something you've been holding on to or holding, waiting for something is definitely coming towards you, whatever this is. So if that's love, career, new job opportunity, that is definitely coming towards you here where it's going to put you in a position where you feel financially balanced or you feel balanced in general. This could be your emotions as well. The ace of wands here is a new I'm hearing, I hear a new position. I hear a new position is coming in for you. That position can show up in career or that position in a relationship, a new direction that you're taking or a new level in your commitment or in your agreement with someone. Let's see what else is coming up. Some of you have been putting things on hold with something, with someone. You're putting things on hold to see if how if they balance you in some sort of way, if they meet your criteria is what I hear. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio in your rules. Very interesting here. Hmm. But I do feel like someone taking a stand or if someone standing up to you. So if someone is matching your energy is what I feel with that seven of with the seven of wands or with the six of pentacles here, someone is definitely matching your energy. So there's something that you've been asking for. I, I know for sure, Scorpio, that 
Um, many of you have been dating over the past few months, past year, and you've been dating multiple people. And I know just recently we had a reading where you have um, decided to choose someone. So I feel like it's almost like a test. We know Scorpio. Scorpios like to test people. Um, to Scorpios like to know everything about a person but won't tell much about themselves because they're very mysterious. But I do find, feel that you will be or you have met someone that is matching your energy in a way that you never thought could be matched. But I do feel like that there is a strong connection with the Ace of Wands here. There's a lot of chemistry that you have with this person. And it definitely feels like there's a spark, a new beginning that is happening with you guys. So this definitely makes me feel like you're taking something to a new level with someone. That's what I feel intuitively, okay? So it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. I'm going to move on from that because that's um, what I'm feeling generally. It's a relationship that you're taking to a, next, to a new level and someone is matching your energy. And I do feel like you're, you, you like it. For some of you, it's a test for you. It's testing your, your faith, your patience. But I do feel like you like that challenge. You, you're that water sign that likes that challenge, okay? <laughs> An obstacle for you is the hangman. I feel like this is your energy here with this hangman of now having to share parts of yourself that you hadn't shared with anyone else or you are very selective about who you share your energy, your time, and your life with here, Scorpio. So it definitely feels like a moment where you're just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm deciding to um, take things to another level. I feel safe and secure in this. I'm going to let it all hang out is what I'm feeling here. So some of you are still not two feet in, though. I do feel some of you are kind of one foot in and one foot out, but I do feel like the next step for you is showcasing aspects of yourself that you have yet to share to see if you can make it to the next level. Because we know it's all about levels with you. We have the Queen of Swords here, the Four of Cups, and then we also have the High Priestess. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could also be dealing with another water sign as well, Pisces specifically. Okay. I definitely feel this Queen of Swords energy is someone, <laughs> someone who puts you in your place, someone who makes you see outside the box. It's someone who's very um, sure of themselves. She has it together. She's very intellectual. I'm saying she because she is in the car, but this could also, it's not gender specific, so you can switch the roles, the gender roles. This could be male as well, but I definitely feel like it's someone who's very mature, someone you've been looking um, looking for. I feel like they're also about all their money, about their money. They're very analytical. They kind of weigh out your energy, balance out your energy as well because you're a water sign and you can be free spirited, but you do have that analytical, that logical side within you. Um, but I do feel like the two of you balance each other out. So someone, you may be dating someone a little bit older than you, someone who's wiser or someone who has more experience in life. And I do feel like the two of you are learning a lot from each other. You balance each other in a really beautiful way. Um, but some of you are not seeing something. There's something that I feel like there could be missing or a, this could be you nitpicking in some sort of way. Or, you know, the high priestess energy is here. There's something that you know that you probably can't put your finger on right now or you know exactly what it is and you're having a hard time accepting something. You could be having a hard time accepting something about yourself that this person is revealing about you or revealing to you because we also know, Scorpio, you don't like to be told what to do, what to do, just like a Pisces, and you don't want to be challenged in the way where someone is challenging you about you. OK, so I definitely feel like this energy is coming up that there's this person sort of they may say or they actually do know you know you better than you know yourself. And I feel like they're forcing you and pushing you into that um, into that the new level of learning about who you are, exploring more aspects of yourself, because maybe you've been doing things the same way your whole life and now they're opening up a new door to explore something new about yourself and it may feel challenging for you and it may feel like someone is trying you feel like someone is trying to have authority over you but I definitely feel like it is a um, 
an insider or revelation that they're trying to share with you to help you expand. Okay, so don't take it personally here is what Spirit is saying, uh, Scorpio, that this is a time where you can bear all if you feel safe and secure enough to do so because this is there's this is a safe space with this person, whoever this is. Okay, so that may be an obstacle for you guys is opening up and bearing it all. Okay, and some of you are going to bear some and not all <laughs> just because you want to feel a level of control of what you share. But I feel like this person is very strong willed that they sort of pull things out of you that no one else has pulled out of you before. And it does make you feel a little uncomfortable. So where you're headed is the lover's card. So I do feel like this energy is being taken to another level for sure with the, with the lover's. Gemini energy here, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Like as I said before, this or this is a lot of communication between the two of you making this the decision to take things to another level. It's getting it's getting heated, okay? It's getting heated between you and someone. Some You guys are talking about um, marriage, building a family together, um, taking a new step or taking a leap of faith or walking into building building something, just walking into a new life together, creating a new chapter or even just starting a whole new story together. But I definitely feel like this could be a twin, twin flame or soulmate energy that some of you are dealing with. There's a lot of chemistry. There's, a, like I said, a lot of heat that's coming with that. Let's see what's coming where you're headed. Why is the lovers here? I'm going to put these back. We have the seven of pentacles, seven of wands, two number sevens, and the moon. Okay, the moon. So I definitely feel like you have been working on something, growing this relationship with this person. Some of you are feeling doubtful or uncertain about where what next step to take or if this is something that you want to do because there's just fear that is coming up for some of you. That seven of wands is coming back out again. Um, and I do feel like it's for some of you, this could be a battle because it may be something outside of your comfort zone, something outside of the unknown, something you've never experienced with someone and it feels different and it feels unfamiliar. And so some of you are a bit resistant to wanting to share or move forward because Maybe for some of you, it may feel too good to be true or something like that, okay? But I do feel like you're in your feelings about things and you're, you, there is a level of fear of the unknown coming up for you. The fear of if we get together, if we get married, will we get divorced? Like all of these questions, because like I said, you're very mysterious, Scorpio. You're also very analytical as well. So you're going to have questions about things that you're going to try to play out and find the answers to in your mind. But again, because you're a water sign, you can take yourself down this road that is so unhealthy and can be toxic where you're creating scenarios that don't even exist or will never even happen. So make sure that you are in this place of just being in the flow of things. Don't let your fear get the best of you here with the moon card here. But I do feel what the moon showing up is that this is a very wild connection for some of you. <laughs> Some of you are like, how did this happen? Okay, how did this happen with this person is what I feel. But again, strong connection, chemistry. Some of you may be dating outside of your race. You may be dating someone outside of the norm, um, another gender. I, I don't or same sex. I don't know. But this feels different for you, which is why some of you are questioning, is this the right decision? But I feel like it's the... The, um, the connection is undeniable and you want to see past whatever you feel is a roadblock right in front of you. You want to move past that roadblock and really spend your life with this person or get to or build, continue to build with this person to see where it can go. So that's where you're headed during this time frame. What's coming towards you is the queen of disc here. So some of you may be meeting family, meeting this person's family during this month, meeting the mama, coming together, having a celebration, having a party, maybe even a wedding for some of you, bringing together, bringing someone together for, um, or bringing everyone together for a proposal. It could show up in various ways, but I do feel an energy of you being surrounded by support and love and being nurtured, nurtured through, throughout this um, 
bond that you have with this person. And this could just be your person that could be nurturing you as well. All right, that's too many cards. I'm going to put those back. Why is the queen of disc here? I do feel like you have a lot on your mind. There's a lot of questions that are coming at you. You're asking yourself a lot of questions. People are asking you a lot of questions. This was this is what makes me feel like you you're around family and, and you're trying to, you know, you're introducing this person to family and there's a lot of questions that are coming up about what? I don't know. Eight of Swords is here. We have the death card is here. And then the five of pentacles. Ooh. So this <laughs> Oh, this makes me feel a certain way. Like you guys, um, I'm feeling Scorpio that you don't want to be challenged. You don't want to be challenged. And for you, it may be easier for you to let it go. It may be for easier for you to let this person go, take the loss and move on because you don't want to feel challenged. You don't want to feel like you're being told what to do. You don't want to feel like you're a child. You want to be able to feel like your person's equal and maybe for some of you there is a lot there's a lot of chemistry there's a strong bond there's a lot of love but maybe it's that you're not feeling equal maybe this is what this roadblock is that's in front of you is that you can't find you can't find equality in your relationship and could it be because your person has this could also be your energy your person has more experience or they have more money and there's something that you may be feeling uh, lack and I don't even think it's because your person is making you feel like that. I think because you are also, a, you have a level of perfectionism that you want to meet or that you have a level of, you have a, your definition of success should be, I have everything and everything and I'm right and I'm the provider, I'm the nurturer, I'm all of the things and that you're unable to um, let the roles play out as they should. So this is what makes me feel like you may be thinking of walking away because it may feel too overwhelming for you. Oh, I would hate to see that if there's a lot of love and chemistry. There are some things that we have to sacrifice, some things that you have to compromise on in, the, in, a, in a relationship, Scorpio. But if that's something that you are unwilling to do, then by all means, do what is best for you. But it definitely feels like there are thoughts where you're feeling like I'm trapped in these thoughts and I don't want to feel here, feel this. And this is probably that robot block that some of you can't get, get past. Okay, whatever that is, that could be maybe you're not as physically attracted to them or maybe there's not a lot of sexual chemistry. There's chemistry in some sort of way. But maybe you're lacking chemistry in one area and, and, and you're okay in other areas, but you need it all across the board. I don't know how this is going to show up for you, but I do feel a lot of thoughts that are coming up for you about you feeling trapped and you feeling like you're in your head about, am I going to do this right? Am I doing the right thing? Is there someone else better out there? The fear of the unknown is really coming up for you during this time. And some of you may decide to end things. Some of you, this may be an opportunity for you to transform and to really get to this next level so that you can fully bond with this person. But because the death card here and the five of pentacles is here, this makes me feel like you like lost, like you letting it go or you feeling you're feeling left out, you're feeling left behind in some sort of way. And it's definitely putting you in a mind frame of lack and not enoughness. Okay, so that's what's coming towards you. What's happening in your near future is the temperance here. So some of you are going to be creating something. Uh, and you could be creating something with someone else. I'm also feeling counseling for some of you, turning to counseling, a facilitator, meditation, journaling, you know, going to see, um, you know, counselor, pastor, whatever this is to help bring things together for you so that you can see, you can create something different. There may be a pattern that some of you have been in, and this is why there's that roadblock of you not being able to move past it to really, really enjoy this relationship that you have with this person that you do have chemistry with here. We have the Ace of Cups coming up, your energy. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Four of Swords. So there's a new, there could be a new direction, new love that could be coming into your life or new love for self with that, with the Ace of Cups here. But I definitely feel like it's an overflow of something that is 
that you're opening up that you're opening up to something that you've been waiting for and this is why i don't know if it's the person that you're currently with or is it someone else could, could be coming in and offering you um a, another cup of love and um and you begin to see things differently from you did before or this is you finally opening up to an aspect of yourself that you needed to heal you're letting down that guard letting letting go of that roadblock and you're moving you're moving past that and now you're fully able to open up and accept the love from the person okay i do feel like some of you have been praying on this type of love okay so you can't give up now okay is what a spirit is saying you can't give up now you've been waiting on this and it is happening for you and it's happening for you in your very near future for some of you this is going to be a new person and for others of you, it's going to be you opening up to receive what you already have in front of you. Okay, so that's what that feels like that's coming up for you in your near future. Your advice is the Queen of Swords. That Queen of Swords is coming out again. So let's clarify this. Again, this makes me feel like, um, like I just said with the temperance here was is creating something new and for some of you this is going to be opening up to a new level of communication some of you were unable to communicate healthily and effectively and some of you didn't have to because you were you've been single and now you're sharing your your life with someone and so you are forced to communicate or not forced some of you are forced to communicate but you do have to open up in some sort of way we have the two of swords, the world, and the ace of pentacles. So now we have the ace of pentacles. We just had the ace of cups. Okay. Your, um, your advice is to take it slow. Take your time making a decision about things. So take your time making a decision about walking away and also taking your time about taking your time with taking this to the next level there is no rush is what i'm hearing so take your time and some of you are indecisive about it as well because you feel like you're stuck and you're trying to find answers of, about something around something not sure what it is but this is an opportunity for you to turn to your divine to the divine or you know prayer or, or, or meditation in order to receive the clarity that you need it definitely also feels like you need to communicate in some sort of way in order for things to change in your life there is opportunities for love and stability and abundance for to be had in your life and with this person if you allow yourself to open up to it some of you are um the queen of swords is giving me also a rigid energy some of you are rigid rigid or rough around the edges and you're needing to sort of smooth that out so you're going to have to do your own healing work in order to let some things go that you may be that may be lingering from the past your idea of what love looks like or what you saw love to be you're going to have to let go of some of that in order to move forward in order to create your own story okay a new chapter or a new story whatever this is in your book okay so some of you are writing a new book and you're writing a new uh, story with someone else and some of you are taking your recurrent relationship and writing a new chapter just going to another level here but there is a lot of love and abundance that is here for you that you could that can grow between the two of you but you're going to have to learn how to be vulnerable how to expose yourself to let things go and to um, not let your analytical side get in the way of what you're feeling okay so some of you your mind is playing tricks on you your mind is is guiding you and there's nothing wrong with the mind guiding you but that is the ego at times and it wants to limit us and your 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 heart is wanting to expand in this moment here so spirit is asking you to let your heart expand whatever you need to do in order to get to that that place in your life we have the eight of wands that is coming up as your final outcome let's clarify that that definitely feels like as you open up to things things are going to start turning really really quickly okay so that could definitely be in your favor why is the eight of wands here and remember we started with the seven of wands we're ending on the eight of wands so this definitely makes me feel like there is a progression and things can happen rather quickly as soon as you let your guard down here scorpio We have the Five of Cups. 
the Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles that's coming up for you. Yeah, some of you have been holding on to things from the past that you need to let go of. But this Four of Wands is def definitely taking your relationship to a new, new level. There's happiness. You said creating a new foundation. Some of you are building a home and building a family. Are you thinking about that? Are you going to be doing that? Like I said, some of you are going to be surrounded by family during this time, meeting family, talking uh, talking about family or building family in some sort of way. The King of Pentacles, I do feel like, is your energy that you're embodying being the provider if you um if you know if you're the breadwinner or whatever the case may be but this is someone who is building building the empire someone who's also nurturing very cool calm collected um very open as well but they're all about making sure that everybody is good so i do feel like things are about to start changing for you rather quickly as soon as you let go of what you've been holding on to as soon as you let go of the notion of I have to put up this facade or put up this guard in order to protect myself. I can't fully show who I am. I can't show my vulnerable side, my baby side, my tender side, because I don't want this person to think this of me. This is an opportunity for you to let that all go, feel safe and secure, and know that this is a safe space with the person that you are with, Scorpio. So that is your final outcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like, share, comment below if this resonates with you. And I will see you guys very soon. Enjoy your month. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.